Joe Biden's executive order 14067. Digital currency is biblical prophecy. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Shemir Awashai, by Asher Rabbachal Kodash, the bones to my elders at Great Millstone, sacred honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third, and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth, Shalom. This is going to sound redundant, but this is what prophecy is. It is what it is. One plus one will always be two. And the MOTB and the Rev 13, we already know what that is. Right? Gotta use cold words because Susan doesn't like us to speak the truth on her airways. Nonetheless, this is an executive order from the president that he signed back on March 9th, 2022. Before I put the carriage before the horse, let me read the underlining um, topics in, on this page here. And I will leave the page of this article in the description box. And please stick around to watch the two minute video that's going to speak a little bit more about this. And I will also leave the link of that video in the description box as well. USDOJ responds to Biden executive order on digital assets. On March 9, 2022, President Joe Biden issued executive order 14067, jumping down to submit a report on how to strengthen international law enforcement cooperation, listen, for detecting, investigating, and prosecuting criminal activity related to digital assets. Now think about that. When you walk into a store and if you spend with legal tender, which is a Federal Reserve note, in layman terms, a dollar bill, no one can track you. I mean, they may see you on a CCTV cameras. Somebody may have recorded you on their phone. Somebody may have physically seen you, but how can they track you digitally if you only pay with cash? So now if you, play, if you pay with a credit card, a debit card, or even a gift card, they can trace you. All right, because of the QRC code, which is pretty much like a barcode, which the barcode value goes back to 666. If you look at the two long lines in the in the beginning, in the middle, and at the very end of it, they all have the value of three. If there's two lines in the beginning, in the middle, and the end, that will give you that number, but let's not go there right now. Okay. So, um, on June 6, 2022, Attorney General Merrick Garland submitted his report to the president how to strengthen international law enforcement cooperation for detecting, investigating, and prosecuting criminal activity related to digital assets. It's pretty much the same thing. And what it is, they can't control, think about the mafia, right? They have money buried underneath the ground in the walls. They have so much money, physical money. Now imagine if they were doing all those drug trades with digital currency. Well, the United States won't be able to won't be able to track it because it's decentralized, meaning that it's not run through the IMF. They can't track it through routing numbers and and account numbers. It's absolutely um, unencrypted, right? So, like, I can take twenty dollars of U.S. currency and I can go to um, Robinhood and I can use I can spend twenty dollars to go buy me some Doji coin. And then I can I can use Dogecoin to to spend to give to somebody else on another platform. Oh, I'm sorry, in another country, and they can take that currency and they can convert it to their currency depending on how many Doji coins I give them. And then you will never know what the transaction was truly about. Though it takes time to go through the process, you know, through the um, the banks and everything, you can't trace what that money was really for, and they don't like that, right? So let me read this really quick. This is Job chapter 13, verse 27. Thou puttest my feet also in the stocks, and lookest narrowly unto all my paths. Thou settest a print upon the hills of my feet. Right, a carbon print at that. Now, a little bit more, and I'm going to close out. I'm not going to make this too long. Stick around for the video at the end. The law enforcement challenges of digital currencies are straightforward. Due to, due to their decentralized nature, Digital currency transactions can occur faster and across borders far more easily than traditional currency transactions. In addition, regulation of digital currencies varies from country to country. These factors, combined with the lack of uniform legal authorities, you see how they use the word lack? That means that they have the lack of access to see who's making transactions. That's really what they're saying. 
and outdated law enforcement tools, that's why they want to make this new executive order, present significant obstacles to international cooperation in the digital currency space. All this jargon is pretty much saying is, with digital currency, we can't track who the hell making transactions. So now we're going to make this executive order so that we can, we can, trans, we can track whoever we want to, and then based upon whether we like you or not, we can freeze your accounts. Think about a lot of these spy movies. Like, um, what's the name of that one movie with um, Denzel Washington? <sighs> but he had to go to the, um, the one spot. He was a secret agent. Nonetheless, though, when they, a lot of people who used to work for the governments, these secret agents, they always move with, like, fake IDs, and they always use with regular money, physical currency. They don't like using transactions because then that, that's how you can be, um, tracked. You know, majority of the time to have somebody else get it, get a, a deposit, then they will give them the money, things of that nature. Because they know you could easily be tried if you use a credit card or if you use some kind of some form of electronic transferring of currency, right? And they don't like that, that, that they can't track you because these cryptocurrencies are what? Decentralized. So it's going to become a time where they're going to make it mandatory to where everyone's going to have to use digital currency to, to make their their purchases and this is where revelation 13 chapter 16 verse 17 comes into play and he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand on their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name with that being said please edified and fed stay in the spirit don't fear it just endure it ask for forgiveness pray without ceasing stay humble Remain diligent from Mashallah, from Flubber Ball, Mashallah Wong. I'm part of the noise in the background at the plantation. Well, some of America's smartest men, including Robert Kiyosaki, investment guru and author of the personal finance book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, have some choice words for Executive Order 14067. It would behoove you to listen to them. Kiyosaki called President Joe Biden signed executive order the most treasonous act in U.S. history in the creation of a central bank digital currencies, or CBDC, as communism in its purest form, encouraging Americans to stay awake. And he's also joined by Jim Rickards, another economist, investor, and former CIA official who's calling it a step toward the end of cash, the greenback in circulation since the founding fathers. The new digital tokens can be turned off if the government doesn't like what you're doing. And Rickards has four decades of experience on Wall Street. Rickards criticized CBDC and labeled it as Bitcoin's evil cousin. He also exposed the supposed singular event called C-Day, which according to him will take place on December 13th, 2022, and will disrupt the traditional financial systems in the United States. He said when what he calls C-Day happens, paper money will be worthless and the U.S. dollar could crash. He further added that consumer spending and access to basic needs will be restricted and people holding too much money will be penalized. Going further into this in terms of practicality, you want to keep your internal combustion engine car? Your digital dollars suddenly won't pay for the gas. You'd be forced to buy an electric vehicle. And Rickards calls it a tip of the fastest iceberg. With Biden bucks, the government would be able to force you to comply with its agenda. Because if you don't, they can turn off your money. And this won't be like freezing a bank account. It'll be so much easier. America will become a surveillance state, much like China or North Korea says. Is this scare talk? No, it's just Executive Order 14067. And Biden signed it on March the 9th, 2022. By the authority vested in me as president by the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America. Look it up. Now, this is coming from World Net Daily. I'll leave the link down below. Of course, I know you've got a lot of comments. Leave them down below as well. For TNS, Texas News Studio, Mark Myers, I'll talk to you soon at another report.